everyone, my name is Spicy and welcome back to the 15th episode of my Minecraft Sky Factory Let's Play. Now, I'm going to start off this episode by saying I'm fully aware that Sky Factory 2 is out. And it turns out that this world apparently won't work with it, because apparently according to the AT launcher, Sky Factory 1 worlds are not compatible with Sky Factory 2. And such, uh, I will be sticking to the original Sky Factory 1 mod pack, and no, I will not be doing a Sky Factory 2 mod pack let's play, because to be honest, uh, from what I've seen, there isn't really that much difference between the first and the second version, thus meaning I see no reason to essentially play this thing again. So obviously, once this mod pack is finished, obviously now I have an end point, which is to defeat the Ender Dragon. Once the the dragons out of the game i will call this series quits we will move on to some other modded series but for now we have still got a lot of things to do my friends obviously we've got ender seeds and ender essences to go yet so we've got a long way to go my friends but we're going to start off this episode by getting ourselves a whole bunch of dust and by doing this we should be able to make a bunch of clay i would like to make myself a very large crucible area so we can get ourselves a whole butt ton of lava going because lava is very very useful especially for making the old uh, obsidian so it's gonna be very useful so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an obsidian room okay I'm gonna make an obsidian room probably not in today's episode because obviously there's gonna be a lot of grinding before that but I'm gonna be making myself an obsidian room and that will be where I will be opening up lucky blocks from now on because I, I, I've seen some things man I've seen some things and the wither can actually spawn I saw it happen on one of my test worlds, and oh good lord, it's, it's not a nice sight, my friends. It is not a nice sight, not by any stretch of the imagination. So, uh, you know, I think an obsidian room would do the job pretty nicely in terms of blast resistance and such. So let's go and grab ourselves a bunch of dust. And we are going, as I said before, we are going to make ourselves a whole bunch of crucibles. So, right, okay. I'll do half of this, and we shall get on with doing the old clay. So here we go. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Eight clay blocks straight out. Awesome sauce. Look at that. Okay, can I make that straight into clay eggs? Nope, I can't. I don't know why I call them clay eggs either, because that's not technically what they are. Can I do this? Does that work? Ah, uh, it doesn't give me more. I thought I'd be able to glitch the game again like before. Wait, can I just... Oh, I don't, need... I don't have a shovel? Oh, man. The basic necessities of life. Shovel? I don't have one. That is very good. Python, you are a very good Minecrafter. You noob! What are you doing? You've been playing Minecraft for four years and you still haven't got the grasp of making shovels in Sky Factory forward slash Skyblocks. So, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. And one of the other things I want to do is I want to make myself a whole bunch more barrels because the barrels are going to be very useful. Because, of course, we have ourselves this infinite water source. We could just keep grabbing buckets upon buckets upon buckets of water, chuck them all in here, and then just stockpile up a whole bunch of clay. And obviously, uh, what we would need to do then is we would need to grab some bone meal. So, bone meal... Grab me some of that. Okay, so if I do this and do this, we have ourselves porcelain clay. Awesome sauce. And then from here, uh, oh, I don't have any crafting tables set up up there. Huh, interesting. Okay, but here's what you do. You just basically do this. You've, you've seen me do it before, but yeah, that's, that's how you do it. On fire crucible, very, very easy to make. So, let me go ahead and get on with making a whole bunch of utility things. And I shall meet you guys back once I have some more progress for you, my friends. Ooh! Hey guys, look at this! We can make ourselves a drum, and then I should be able to put all of the liquid force from all the buckets in there. How'd you make a cauldron? Ah, I need a bunch of iron. Right, okay, bit of a... Bit of a, uh, a bit of a tangent here, but I would like to get that liquid force into some sort of container. So let's just go ahead and have a look at this. I don't think I showed you guys properly, but uh, as you can see, I used some of the old forge micro blocks to sort of encase my sieving auto factory of awesomeness. And obviously these two chests here, obviously one's trapped, one's normal, just so I could get them both next to each other. But yeah, as you can see, got all of the things going in here. And I, for one, am a very, very happy bunny. As you can see, a pretty ridiculous amount of iron. Oh man, look at this. I don't even need most of this stuff. Good lord. Okay, let's go and make ourselves a bunch of iron, shall we? Alrighty guys, here we are, got a bunch of iron ingots, let's make ourselves a cauldron, and I believe there are a couple of pressure plates involved as well, so there we go, pressure plate, boom, iron ingots, and then a cauldron, there we go, the drum, I am very happy that we have a drum, because it means we can go upstairs up here, and we could put this right here, okay, wait, I wonder if there's a, hmm, 
I wonder if there's a way of automatically making that go into there. Huh. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Let me remind myself really quick. Hold on. Transfer node. I want liquids. There we go. Liquids. Oh, we need lapis lazuli. Lapis iron bucket. Huh. Interesting. Right. Do we have any lapis? Do we even get lapis from here? Oh, we do. Oh, my God. We got a whole bunch of it as well. <laughs> oh, my God. That thing is going to work, my friends. It really freaking well is, isn't it? Right. Okay. Uh, we need a regular transfer node, apparently. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, I need a chest. Come on, buddy. Come on. Transfer node. We just need... What's that? Yeah, we just need that one. Okay. So, let's grab this one. So, we have an ender pearl. Yes, thank you very much to uh, whoever said that I can click on the little uh, question mark. And apparently, it'll bring this up. So, you can just easily get your stuff sort of crafted, if you know what I mean. I don't know. That's very, very useful. And I appreciate you guys for pointing that out to me. Because otherwise, I would never have known. As in, like, for real. Right, okay. Now, a uh, couple bits of cobblestone. Let's just go ahead and do this thing. I'll tell you what, you've, you've probably seen me do this millions of times. So, let me go ahead and uh, let me make these transfer nodes. And we shall skip ahead to when we're crafting the actual thing itself. There we go, good old transfer node is up and going. Right, now what we need to do is we need to get the iron out of here. We need to grab ourselves a bucket. Okay, well, let's just use one of these buckets right here. There we go. We've got lapis, uh, iron. Wait, there's something else in this. Oh, there we go, the actual transfer node itself. Duh. Okay, and then the bucket goes up there. There we go, a liquid transfer node. Right, okay, so now that we've got this, can we use this and our transfer pipes? Okay, let's just grab this. There we go. So we've got liquids. I really hope this works. If this works, I'll be the happiest guy in the world. Because what it means is I'll be able to put anything inside of this chest. So if I do this, and is that filling up? I don't know if it is. I actually don't know if it's filling up. Okay. <clears throat> anything? It's not doing nothing. Oh, man. Okay, I need to have that in some sort of container then. Ah, oh, man. Okay, it doesn't matter too much, I guess. Let's, let's just start chucking them in there. Uh, eh. I'm not too fussed about it. I guess we can use the old pipes for something else later down the line, I guess. Uh, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't. There we go. I'll go I'll, I'm not too down about it, I'll be honest with you guys. Boom. Boom. It's just a bit of a grindy procedure, isn't it? Yes. You know how it is. It's a hard work. <laughs> okay. Chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. And what this means, I can have 256 buckets worth of bloomin' force liquid. That is absolute insanity, isn't it? It really is. There we go. 16,000 millibuckets of liquid force. Awesome stuff. And of course, we don't need this. Let's just get rid of it. There we go. No point in having pointless things there now, is it? Okay, there we go. 17 buckets. Damn, that's a ridiculous amount. And as you can see out here, what I've done is I've started filling up the old water and it is looking awesome. Very, very awesome indeed. Okay, and what am I doing now? I'm just trying to think. What am I doing now? I need to grab the dust. There we go. Many, many bits of dust. There we go. We're going to get so much clay out of this. It's going to be ridiculous. We'll have such a surplus of clay that we'll be able to use it for decorative purposes. As in hardened clay. That will be very cool. There we go. 26. That is a nice amount. 26 pieces of clay. I am one happy bunny. Right, I tell you what, I, I am tired of not using a shovel. So let's make ourselves one before I start going insane. All right, let's go over here. Let's make ourselves le shovel. There we go. And sticks and boom like that. And boom like that. Okay, good stuff. Finally, the shovel is in the game. Right, now we can get on with doing some good progress and such. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do, 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 do. And then we need to grab ourselves a whole bunch more bone meal. And that should be no problems. And then make some more crucibles. And then I can start working on my crucible area. Because obviously then we'll have a proper use for our cobblestone. Of it. That is on fire. Oh, it just put itself out. Huh. It was on fire. It was on fire, but I... I don't know. I must have, I must have controlled it with my mind and it made it go out or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure at this point that I have some special powers. <laughs> oh man, there we go. Boom. Boom. 14. Okay, nice amount. Let's go and put them once again in the furnace. Make them into fired ones. Boom, boom. There we go. Tell you, we'll split them between the two, shall we? There we go. Double action, like you do. Do, do, do. Iron, go in there. 
Go in there. Okay, there we go. We've got crucibles already as well. And I need some slabs and a whole bunch of torches. Because what I'm going to do is... I should really... I should really grab the lava out there, shouldn't I? Boom. 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 Uh, boom. 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 There we go. That's all of the lava I can get out of there now. Oh, wow. Okay, I've <laughs> just run out of space. God damn it. Python GB and his lack of inventory management is very, very annoying, isn't it? There we go. Okay, right. Now what we're going to do is we are going to get rid of these temporarily. Okay, I'm also going to get rid of this. I will move this to probably inside my house because I feel like that would be the best solution. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what. You go right there. I'll make a couple more as well. I don't see a reason why I shouldn't. Right, okay. And then what we're going to do is we are going to start mining out this part here. And this is where all of my crucibles are going to go. Oh my god, it's going to be so many. It's going to be ridiculous. There we go. Okay, so that is five blocks by three, so that's going to give us 15 crucibles. We have more than that, so I can, in fact, make this bigger. So let's just go like so. Okay. Right, okay. This is where Python GB needs to be careful. Very, very careful indeed. So incredibly careful that if he gets this wrong, he will die and lose his stuff. Ah. Right, okay. You guys probably know what I have to do now. Okay, I have to go under the island, and I have to try and put these slabs down. Here we go, guys. The deadly procedure. The things I go through to get these things done. Alright, that's pretty much it done, actually. <laughs> that's all we needed to do. Alright, there we go, and now we can start placing these things in. There we go, put torches on all of the blocks, and then, of course, we can have ourselves a whole bunch of crucibles going, which will give us a ridiculous amount of lava. Which I will be very happy with. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Oh, don't. Don't you place there. That is not your place to place. Be there. What? What did I say? I don't even know now. I don't even know. Most of the time, I feel like I'm just talking gibberish. <laughs> oh my god. Do, 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 do. There we go. That was easy. All right, boom, 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 boom. I'm pretty sure you need one under every single crucible, so. While this is overkill, I do need it. There we go, crucible, boom, 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 boom. Such a stupid amount. I love it. It's like a proper factory, isn't it? We've got like industrial sort of loads of these. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh man, look at it! We can make ourselves a whole nother row, can't we? Actually, we can make a whole nother row perfectly. Isn't like actual perfect? Okay. Should be pretty easy, right? Okay. Do, 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 do. Need a few more torches, but apart from that, we are good to go. There we go. One, two, three. Grab ourselves a wee bit of coal. Tell you what, we'll just use up the sticks. That'll get rid of a bit of inventory space, right? There we go. Boom, boom, and the rest of these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's such a ridiculous amount. Okay, let's grab ourselves a stack of cobble and see how much this actually fills up. Alright, here we go. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, each one holds five to start out with. But as you go along, and as they all convert into lava, you can actually put more in there. There we go. We're going to have so much lava, it's going to be ridiculous. You guys won't even know how much lava we've got. I mean, obviously you will, because you're looking at it right now. All of this cobblestone, it's all going to get converted. And we're going to make it all into obsidian. It's going to be awesome. Hmm. There we go. I am, I am a happy bunny. Look at all this. Look at it all. What is this? No, you're not allowed to be there. I'll tell you what, torch. Yeah, this place might get dark, won't it? Okay, we'll put one there as well. And maybe one there. Because I imagine where there's snow, there will be uh, hostile mobs able to spawn. Right, okay. I guess the final thing... I don't know, I, I don't even know how long this episode has gone on for. I don't even think it's been that long, has it? Alright, let's just quickly check on the old mob drop trap, see how that's doing. Alright. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Really? Wow. No dark craft bags at all. That's actually kind of rare. It is not very often there isn't anything there. Not very often at all. Huh. Oh well. Does not matter too much. Right. Okay. I guess the final thing I should probably do is put a roof on this house, right? Because, you know... I'm kind of tired of not having a roof on my house. Roofs are very, very valuable indeed. 
And as such, we should probably get on with doing this thing, my friends. So, let me get on with making the old roof of this place. Probably going to be made out of stairs, right? I think stairs would do the job pretty nicely. There we go. Okay, let's make ourselves a bunch of stairs. Let me get on with making this roof. And I shall see you guys, hopefully, once it is complete. Alrighty guys, as you can see the roof is now in place at long last and as you can see we've also got ourselves a little window up there because you know I just thought eh, there's no point in having just a big wood wall at the top you know let's just add in the window I guess <laughs> There wasn't really any logic behind it I just went ahead and did it because I wanted to so yeah let's just go ahead and make ourselves a bunch of chests because the high roof has given me an opportunity to make myself some more barrels and thus more storage. So let me go ahead and do this. Okay, so boom. Boom. We can make 16 barrels. Okay, that should be a good amount. There we go. 16 barrels. Okay, bang on. Very nice. Very nice indeed. So if we go inside really quick, close the doors. And now this is like officially a house. It is awesome. I'm very happy with it. Let's go upstairs. As you can see, this is looking pretty damn badass. Obviously, you know, it's just oak wood for now. I might try and introduce some more blocks later. But, you know, resource sort of limitations and stuff for now. But, yeah, as you can see, it looks pretty nice, doesn't it? Obviously, hold on a second. Let me just... Uh, do a little bit of maintenance around here. This snow shouldn't be here, my friends. The snow should not be here. I will I will say that I have put torches on the roof because obviously mobs will be able to spawn up there if I allowed them to, which I'm not, so that's why I did that. Uh, just check in here, make sure the light levels are okay. Okay, it's pretty much hovering around 9 and above, which is good. And yeah, I am liking this a whole lot. Got ourselves a whole bunch more storage. And as a whole, I am a very, very happy bunny indeed. Very happy bunny indeed. We have done a whole bunch of cool stuff today. And yeah, the progress today has been real. It's been real. And as I said, very happy with the progress. But anyways, guys, going to wrap up the episode right there. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and, of course, you're excited to see more, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I'm going to go ahead and continue adding in some more cobblestone in these crucibles to try and get them to the max amount of lava in there, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I very much appreciate your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next episode.